Hi friends, welcome back to our weekly Friday chit chat video. So I hope you're all doing very, very well. I am finally now getting back into trying to wear a little bit of makeup. My skin is doing a lot better. I finally got my retinol and my skin is clearing up. It's still a little bumpy everywhere, but it's, you know, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for everything to kind of just work its magic. So it is a little bit of a process. I'm during, I'm in the little bumpy and peeling, you know, that that portion which is just never fun and so I kind of had a little issue this week and it was 100% my fault it's not even like it's 100% my fault so I hit my toe really really hard like really hard I don't know how and I just kind of felt the toe just to make sure that the nail was still on there and it felt fine a couple of hours later just kind of you know go to sleep whatever and I jumped in my sleep I guess the toenail cracked a little bit and I didn't know, I didn't see it. I didn't, I really didn't even check if I'm gonna be honest with you. And it clinged on to the blanket and my foot jumped up and just kind of like smashed down and it ripped three quarters of my nail off. It's intact, but there was, a, there was yeah, there's there was a lot of pain behind that. It was just, I didn't feel pain like that in quite some time and it wasn't fun. Wearing shoes this week wasn't fun. I didn't really do too much. I kind of did very, very light little workouts just to kind of, you know, be on track, but it wasn't, it was a little rough. Again, 100% my fault. I am taking full responsibility. I should have checked, but honestly, I just forgot. Just forgetting really just, so that, that was, that was that and okay so have you guys tried any of those tiktok recipes i have been wanting to try the jalapeno cream cheese and toffees recipe so i always have cream cheese in the house i i never really want takis i think a couple of times i craved takis but that's not my favorite go-to chips to like snack on and i couldn't find jalapenos anywhere everyone was just buying it out so i was like all right this has got to be good and i just kept going to the grocery store just looking for it and couldn't find it finally came home with two because i just want to try it out first before you know coming home with like seven of them and they were not hot they were just sweet jalapenos i was just so disappointed that it wasn't spicy at all but they were good i'm not gonna lie i like bell peppers i like sweet peppers and i did the bell peppers with cream cheese and everything but bagels everything but the bagel seasoning in there and i thought it was really good but i like all three of those things so that's why i think i really liked it but i still want to find like spicy jalapenos you know but i think it'll be really good because yeah i just think they'd be really good so that was that. I'm also I'm also very very excited because I'm trying to. Do you remember how last week I was telling you guys that I don't feel like a lot of people on YouTube are doing makeup tutorials, but it's still something that I really like. It just I don't know. There's just something about watching someone do their makeup, even though yeah, it's just I don't know. It's just something about me watching someone do their makeup. So I remember when I first got into makeup, when I was first just falling in love with it. You know that that early process that early stages I just loved watching online classes I paid for online classes just to learn things and just to watch and you know I got a lot out of it I got a lot a lot out of it if you're someone who's really trying to get into makeup and you see someone that you really appreciate their craft their art their talent you know just the way they do things and they and they're allowing or they're doing what's the word I'm looking for what is the word I'm looking for <laughs> where they have online classes that you can pay for or you know they do live tutorials here and there because some a lot of people do it on their just stories or you know on their stories yeah and just just do it just watch it just you know I feel like you'll learn a lot so this one girl I saw that she was doing a five dollar class for next month and so i just jumped on it i don't think there were a lot of spots available because when right before i did it i saw that there were four spots available left and it was only five pounds so i think it came out to like six dollars and like 20 cents so i'm very very excited because i do like her work a lot and i watched one of her instagram 
highlights when she was doing a look and she gives a lot of really really good tips so i'm really excited seeing what other tips she gives because i've heard other people com like just leave in comments saying that they've learned a lot from her and she always gives you know she always drops lots of little gems in there so i love little tips and tricks and i i don't know i just always it's just one of those things that i really appreciate learning and watching and just doing so I'm, I'm very excited about it. Like very, very excited. Does anyone else get excited? I just feel like when it comes down to certain things, you could just never, you can never not know enough. There's, there's always room for growth and there's, you can always learn things, especially because I feel, I feel like just watching someone do something a different way than you can really just change everything. You can watch someone do something the same way over and over and over again, but the way someone can explain something to you can just, just click. Oh, so I was just going to end this video too. And I just, I looked back and I just remember what I was going to talk about. So I went to Nordstrom Rack because I was looking for a powder that apparently was, you know, good price and everything. I do feel like Nordstrom Rack is pretty pricey for the most part. So unless you unless you know for a fact that some things are really, really good deal, there's not really much deals that they have going on. So I've been looking for this powder for a really long time. And people were saying that they had it at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And this was like a couple of months ago and I just couldn't find it anywhere. I mean, I was going very, very frequently to these stores and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I decided to just give up and I went to Nordstrom Rack and I picked up this Urban Decay Velvetizer Powder. So this is a translucent mix in medium. People have said that, okay, so when I say people, Harush, you guys know, if you don't know, I love her. I love her tips. She gives such good tips. She gives you the information that you want to know. Things that other people are just kind of like trying to hide from you. She gives you all the information that you want to know. I've there's never been one piece of information or tip or trick that she's given that hasn't worked for me. So we live in Florida. It is hot. People don't wear makeup here. People, me, don't wear makeup here in the summertime because I don't want it melting off. I don't want to sit there for two hours doing my makeup for it to melt off. It is, the, the sun is... It's ruthless. The sun is ruthless. So she said what she normally does is she'll mix a little bit of this in with her foundation. It thickens it up and it lasts a little longer and it also gives you a little bit more coverage. So I've been looking for this powder for a really, really long time and I saw the Nordstrom Rack had it for $10.47. So we rushed over to Nordstrom Rack and I picked it up and then there was a Marshalls across the street. So we went there first so I can get this and this was all I went for. Went to Marshalls, they had, <laughs> they had them there for $6.99. So if you're looking for it, they have it at Marshalls. Well, at least in my area, they have it at Marshalls. It was $6.99. And of course, you can't return makeup right now anywhere. So I'm a little, I'm a little sad, but I'm not, I'm not going to complain because I feel like if I went to Marshall's first, it wouldn't have been there, but it's because I got this and then I went, I found it cheaper and there was, but if this works, I will let you guys know. I will keep you updated and letting you know how well this works because I'm definitely trying this out very, very soon this weekend. This weekend, we're going to try this out as long as it doesn't rain and we try to leave the house. We're going to try it out and we'll let you know how it goes, but if it works, try to go to Marshall's and get it. But yeah that was a little like but that is it for this video i hope you guys have a great halloween a great weekend be safe and i will see you guys in monday's video bye